Peter and I want to rectify a mistake, an oversight. That's a good word, right? Yeah. It's kind of like when he goes out and forgets to leave some kid Easter eggs. It's not intentional, but it does happen. Come on, you know it happens. But we want to wish friends of the Jewish faith a happy Hanukkah. When I met Teddy, my husband, he was 21 years older than me. He, for 41 years of our marriage, he was always 21 years older than me. It's funny how that worked out, you know? When I first met him and we were talking to each other, we were friends, and he kept dancing around this question. And finally, I asked him, Teddy, are you asking me if I have any problems with Jewish people and my prejudice against Jewish people? And he said, yeah. And I said, no, I don't have any problems with Jewish people. And he said, you will when I'm done with you. It turns out that Teddy, all four of his grandparents were Jewish uh, one grandfather actually was a rabbi and an interpreter at Ellis Island. Uh, he spoke 11 languages. Uh, Teddy's father became Episcopalian during World War I, and Teddy's mother was brought to the United States with her three sisters by nuns because her parents were killed. And um, she was raised in an orphanage, and when she became 18, she became Catholic. So that's his history. Now fast forward this five years. We've got Christine in kindergarten and it's the winter pageant and about 50% of the parents are Jewish and the other 40%, okay, 30% are Christian. And the rest of them aren't married. We just assumed they weren't even married. So we don't know who they were. You know, they had just had kids in school. So they're singing songs like Winter Wonderland, Frosty the Snowman. And uh, it's going along really well until the dreidel song starts. And the kids are singing, and Teddy's sitting there very quietly. And when they get done, we're all clapping because they remembered every word of it. And they were just so enthusiastic and everything. And it kind of got a little quiet because the kids were changing positions. And Teddy looked at me and said, what the beep was that? And I kind of was embarrassed. And I said, what? He says, that. I said, the dreidel song. He says, I know, what's that? And I asked, you don't know what a dreidel is? He says, I know what a dreidel is. I says, I don't understand. He says, when did they write a song about it? And the entire room was floored. In spite of being married for 41 years to Teddy, I still don't have anything against Jewish people. <laughs> I hope everybody, no matter what tradition, what ethnic background you are, what faith you are, if you're celebrating something, knock your socks off and have a wonderful time. I did go out and buy him a dreidel that Christmas, and he thought that was really funny. Uh, but I wanted to share that memory with you because we did forget to say Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of clay. You could have heard a pin drop when he said that. Everybody just stopped dead. It's okay. Happy Hanukkah to all our Jewish friends.